people from all over the country made the pilgrimage to Detroit for a chance to witness history. 65,000 people attended the Mass at Ford Field for the Beatification Mass for Father Solanus Casey. The football stadium decked out for the faithful as Catholic leaders honored the late priest. Father Casey dedicated himself to helping others and is now just one step away from his path to sainthood. We're going to take you back out to Ford Field where 7 Action News anchor Alan Campbell has been watching today's ceremony. Hi, Alan. Hey, Brianne, and yeah, we've moved down here now to the ground level here at Ford Field. And as you said earlier, 65,000 people here in attendance to witness the beatification and mass of Father Solanus Casey. Just take a look here at the Michigan Catholic front page. This was given to some of the people as they came in here. And you can see Father Casey on the front here, and it says, Thank God, ahead of time celebrating the beatification of Capuchin Father Solanus Casey. So everyone who was in attendance today received this, along with some other brochures as well. But I just want to show you a little bit about what's happening here behind the scenes. You can see a lot of people in yellow behind me here clearing up the thousands of chairs that surrounded the stage here. This stage is where you can see the altar in the middle. That altar actually was originally designed for when Pope John Paul II was visiting the Silver Dome, the Pontiac Silver Dome back in 1987. Just take a listen right now to a little bit of today's Beatification Mass. The beatification of Solanus Kesey is a great gift to the Church in Detroit, the Capuchin Order, and the faithful in the United States. Faith was for him a very precious inheritance for facing the difficulties of life. Finally, Your Eminence, when next you speak with our beloved Holy Father, Pope Francis, Please let him know that we are grateful beyond measure that he has judged our beloved Father Solanus worthy of the rank of blessed. Assure his holiness of our filial affection and loyalty and tell him that we are committed anew to imitate blessed Solanus by witnessing to the good news of Christ's mercy. The field house of mercy is open. The field hospital of mercy is open here in Detroit. And it was Father Casey's hard work and dedication, and more importantly, his inspiration and willingness to help those in need to always open the door for anyone. And that's how those today remembered Father Casey. Of course, as we were saying earlier, tens of thousands of people packing in here to Ford Field to witness the beatification in the Mass for Father Solanus Casey. Now, we're going to send things out to 7 Action News reporter Naya Hardin. She's live out front of Ford Field. Hey, Naya. Hey, that's right. You know, we're right here by the doors. People are exiting out, but it's a different type of feeling in here. Definitely a lot of joy you feel. You feel that peace. A lot of people really, really excited to have experienced something of this magnitude. We are talking to people right now, and actually this woman right here, she says that her family has history dealing with Father Solanus. Tell us about your story. Okay, so my husband's family um, is from Detroit originally. We live in Saginaw now. But um, the story that's been passed down to our family um, for the last 80 plus years is that his grandfather, um, as a young man, would visit Father Solanus. And he was in his early 20s at um, about 1929, so Great Depression was hitting Detroit. And he had um, a wife and seven children. My father in law was two years old at the time, and he had also a um, six-month-old daughter and um, so uh, my husband's grandfather was thinking of moving his family to California to get work and he visited Father Solanus and asked his spiritual wisdom um, and Father, Father Solanus said to him my friend I see you in a different place a year from now so the story goes that Grandpa went home and talked to Grandma and um, that was going to be their plan. But shortly thereafter, Grandpa had a severe attack of appendicitis and um, it burst and he died. And so Grandma went to see Father Solanus afterward, you know, like we understood 
that we should move. And he said, well, I did see that, you know, he wouldn't be here, that that would happen, but he didn't want to tell him that. It would be a frightening thing to tell a young man. So um, consequently, it's had a big part in our family history. But today was definitely a good feeling. Yes, it was wonderful. We, we actually went to St. Bonaventure before we came to Ford Field and um, visited the tomb of Father Solanus, and there was a basket there where you could write down um, prayers on a paper and leave them there asking for his intercession. Right. So, well, thank you so much. We yeah. appreciate it. Alan, back to you.